In this video, I am going to discuss the characteristics of perfect competition, how price is determined in the market and revenue of a perfectly competitive firm. So first I am going to discuss the characteristics of perfect competition. There are mainly three characteristics of a perfectly competitive market. First, many buyers or many consumers and many producers in the market. This means that an individual consumer, the share of an individual consumer in market demand is negligible and similarly the share of an individual producer in the market supply is also negligible. So neither individual consumer nor individual supplier has the power to influence the market price. So they cannot change the market price. Second, homogeneous product. These buyers are providing homogeneous commodity to the consumers. They are selling homogeneous commodity in the market. So uh, quality, shape, color, packing, everything is same. And third, free entry and exit. So here, any firm can enter the market of a commodity or any existing firm can leave the market. There is no need to take the government permission to start the business or to stop the business. Now I am going to discuss how price is determined in the market. So we know that there are many consumers and many producers in the market. So first is market, how price is determined in the market and then uh, what is the equilibrium price for, for a perfectly competitive firm. So here quantity of commodity X is measured on X axis and price of commodity X is measured on Y axis. Again, quantity of X on X axis and price of X on Y axis. Now we know that demand curve is a downward sloping curve which shows the inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded. Supply curve is an upward sloping curve which shows the positive relationship between price and quantity supply. This is the equilibrium point and OP is the equilibrium price. Now this price is the market equilibrium price. So this demand curve is the market demand curve and this supply curve is the market supply curve. Now in perfectly competitive market, each firm will accept this price. So if I extend this line, OP. So OP price is determined by the market that is market demand and market supply and now this price which is determined by the market will be accepted by the firm. So here firm does not decide the price. Firm is price taker and not price maker. So this is the demand curve and now at this price, this firm can sell as many quantity as it wants. So for example, Q1, Q2 and Q3, but here there is no change in price because this price is determined by the market and therefore firm is price taker. Now we know that this demand curve is a horizontal line or it is parallel to x axis and therefore demand elasticity is infinity. That is perfectly elastic demand curve. And because the share of this firm 
in the entire market is highly negligible, this firm cannot change the price. Or in other words, you can say that this firm has no power, no market share to change the market equilibrium price. So now we are going to uh, talk about the revenue of this perfectly competitive firm. So we know that total revenue of a firm is the price into quantity. Average revenue is the total revenue upon quantity. And marginal revenue shows the uh, change in total revenue due to uh, selling of an additional unit. So first we, this is quantity of X. Price of X, total revenue, average revenue, and marginal revenue. Now we know that this price is determined by the market. For example, this price is 5. So suppose this firm is selling 1 unit, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 at 5 rupees. So what is total revenue? It is P into Q. So 5 into 1, 5, 5 into 2, 10, 15, 20, 25. 30. What is average revenue? Average revenue is total revenue upon quantity demanded, quantity of the commodity. So if we take TR upon Q, that is 5 upon 1, 5, 10 upon 2, 5, 15 upon 3, 5, 20 upon 4, 5, 25 upon 5, 5, 30 upon 6, 5. Average revenue and price are always equal. Now, marginal revenue. So, marginal revenue shows the change in the total revenue. So, this is 5. Second, 10 minus 5. 15 minus 10. 20 minus 15. 25 minus 20. And 30 minus 25. So, it is 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. So, here, Price, average revenue and marginal revenue are same. So if we draw a price line, average revenue curve and marginal revenue curve of a perfectly competitive firm, we will get a straight line, a straight horizontal line. So suppose quantity of x is measured on x axis and price, average revenue and marginal revenue is measured on y axis. So we know that price is 5. It is constant. So I can take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there is no change in price. Price is constant, that is 5 and this price is determined by the market. Now if we draw average revenue curve, we will get the same curve. So this is price which is equal to average revenue and if we draw a marginal revenue curve, we get the same line. So it is also equal to marginal revenue. So here price is equal to AR is equal to M. So in a perfectly competitive for, for a perfectly competitive firm the price line, average revenue line and marginal revenue line is same and this line is horizontal or it is parallel to x-axis. 
and this line shows the demand curve of a perfectly competitive firm and we know that the elasticity of demand is infinity. Thank you.